Good afternoon, beautiful souls. Rebecca Thompson here. I'm just jumping on on my laptop as well because we're going live this afternoon to bring you some real time. I'm going to be going live in a moment with a beautiful beacon friend and client of mine, Vera. Just jumping on here as well because when we're on our phone, we can't always see um, messages come up. So I want to make sure, here we go, that we get all your messages or any comments coming through. So I'm just going to put the volume down there so we can see all of that. So why am we, why are we having these conversations? Because so often there can be a fear around change or a handbrake on around creating change. Number one, because we're fearful about what that change might look like and how it might upset our norm, our comfort level. And we can also have tried things in the past that haven't been helpful. So we've invested time and money and energy and perhaps risked that change for not um, having the outcomes that we necessarily want. And in our Beacon community, we have real women doing real practical spirituality that is deep and is out there and is quantum. And yet we have one foot very much in the world. We've got families, we've got businesses, and then we're showing up in the world because my belief is that we are here to embrace our divinity in this body right here, right now, and express our divinity so that we can create heaven on earth. And that is what our beacons are all about. And so I want to bring some realness to this conversation about what it looks like to be on a spiritual journey, to be on an empowered, divine embodiment journey. It's not all swishy long hair. If you saw my post earlier um, about I can't grow my hair, so I don't have swishy long hair. But it's not all swishy skirts, swishy long hair and, and candlesticks and flowers, right? It is it is the hard work and it is the incredible, bountiful, easeful, impactful results that we get from doing this deep dive work. So let's see if we can get the beautiful Vera on with us. We've been playing and testing this because we've had a few issues and I'm going to invite you. Vera and it's fingers crossed the magic happens and um, Vera jumps on here we go here she Yay! Is. <laughs> Vera. hi so good so just turn your volume up as far as you can go Vera and let's just make sure you get your audio um, nice and loud is that better a wee bit quiet. is that better say hello for everyone yeah it's not too hi long, everyone like in a little bit more to see how close you can get. And hello, um, Natalie, who's watching us with us this morning, this afternoon, even. Is that better? Hang on a sec. Yeah, I can hear My you. It's a little bit quiet, but let's just go with it. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's so good to finally have you on here with me live this afternoon. And what I think would be really useful for everyone to hear, like Vera's been with us in the Beacons, what, for, has it been a year yet, Vera? Been uh, yeah, year. it's been 12 months. 12 months, yeah. Yeah, it's been 12 months. Awesome. Hey, Terry. Say hello to a few other people that are watching us this, this afternoon. I keep saying this morning. I always do my lives in the morning. It's going to catch me. So tell us, tell everyone about what your life was like before. What were some of the everyday kind of challenges um, and what was the turning point that you went, you know what, I want to make some change in my life? Because so many women have the everyday challenges and think that it doesn't get any better than that. And I just need to suck it up and carry on. So what was it like yeah. for you? And what was that, that was that my life. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that was my life. I had a very busy life. I spent my whole life looking after everybody and um, had done for like decades and, that became normal yeah. for me um, and it got very, very stressful. And I think it, it sort of imploded during COVID when um, family members were all together 24 seven, there were so much stress levels and, um, and I cope with it. Um, they didn't know how to cope with it. And I just woke up one morning and I just wanted to die. I had that, I can't do this anymore. I just want to die. And that really scared me because that's not who I am. That's, it, it just, 
And so I thought, well, I can't change anyone else. I can only change me. And, um, and I went on a journey of, of just doing that. I just, um, I questioned everything and I got answers almost straight away, which was really bizarre. Um, that would be like, like either from a movie I'd watched or a book I had read or a podcast I'd listened to or a friend ringing randomly. Like it was, it was quite um, overwhelming. It, it just was, it was just growing so fast. It was incredible. Um, and, and then you popped up on my Facebook page and I thought, oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> and so as I'm reading whatever it was that you were saying, it just really just sort of hit me in my heart. And I thought, oh, what I'll just go to this heart. Because there'll be a lot of people, again, and I think particularly women, because, you know, I work with women, as you know, hundreds and thousands of women over, yeah. like hundreds, and thousands, hundreds slash thousands of women over, you know, my career that, don't still don't make that that move like you say kind of recognize yeah. they've maybe been saying no to themselves and yes to everybody else and draining that cup for a while and maybe yeah. even getting some of those messages like you were saying you know like you put it out there and you get messages yeah. through serendipitous meetings or movies mm. i love all of that what really spoke to you in in the message um, that i was sharing with you that got you to that sort of you know Point, well, I can't remember specifically, but it was like the energy that you um, that you gave out, and and and, the, and I knew it was what I was looking for next. Like I was so numb, I had like everything was just numb, and I wanted to feel again, and just played such a huge my walk really these last did. twelve months. I can now, which is. Your videos frozen. Oh, you're back now. But I remember that time because I remember some of the processes that we do. And I remember you going, I just can't feel anything. And that mm. is something that when we've been negating our own desires and fulfilling everyone else's, we start yeah. to not even know what we want. Yeah. That, did you relate in that way? Yes, I did definitely, most definitely. Because that's something I really, really wanted. I've been reading about it. I've been, and it's like far out. That this is what I want. This is what's been missing in my life for decades. And and as I said, when you just keep doing the same thing day in day out, it just becomes normal, and you think that's your normal. But there's yeah. so much more out there. Like, oh. yeah, and it's been, been amazing, amazing. <laughs> hasn't it? It's just kind of feeling it at the moment as well. What do you think? It can be hard to put a name on the things that are intangible. Suddenly we just do it, don't we? But do you attribute yeah. your, your courage and that that ability to lead? Because, you know, financially it was stressful, independently it was stressful, yeah. work-wise it was stressful to make that choice. You were right on that brink. It was. Most people facing some kind of change that is always scary because there's a, a big instability mm. about to happen when we create change. But where do you think your faith, your trust or your courage came from is that inherent in you or where do you think i think i think it is inherent in me but if i hadn't had the support and the encouragement especially from the beacon community there's no way i'd be where i am today like it's just made such a huge impact on my life and and i know it just from um like friends that I meet in the street or that I haven't seen in a while, they just see this massive transformation and they go, oh my God, what's happened, you know? And then I tell them what's happened and um, it's just been amazing. I, I just can't thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. Oh, it's just God. been awesome. And the beautiful Beacon women, I'm like. I'm like watching this going, okay, I get it. You were here, you are here. What's the, what, can you put into words what the difference is in you? Like how you feel, how you're showing up? What's really changed I'm, in tangible stuff? I'm learning to trust myself. I never trusted my own judgment about things. I always doubted myself. So especially in the last few months, I trust myself. I trust my intuition. I trust what I'm feeling inside. Um, You're feeling I was very for much a start. <laughs> yes. After being so numb for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm always being very much in the head type person and I still am but that's improved so much more I'm sort of I'm sort of dropping down into my heart and my womb space and that's just made a massive massive difference in my life and that's helped me feel again I believe yeah it's been it's been great 
And it's something I, I, you need to practice that every day. I've had to do that every day because it's really easy to get caught up in life again and you forget all these practices that you've learned. But you have to make that part of your daily life. Like that's just going to be like breathing. If you continue yeah. to, um, to do these practices, your life will just change. It's, it's just been amazing. And I know that from speaking to many of the other beacons, that's a huge thing of being in the community is it can be hard to go from something being a practice to just being like breathing, right? And that's why we keep going deeper is that we have lots of, um, you know, for anyone who wants to just pick up a piece of tenses because our work is about going deeper. It's about mastery. So that it's, um, Vera said, your life becomes yeah. a practice and your life becomes a practice. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that look like? So you're trusting yourself more, you're able to feel more. I know that you're speaking up more, you're feeling heard. And I know that you've been making great decisions and showing up in a different way. Yeah, and it feels really good. So what's been happening in your world that, that this has allowed you to open into, to receive, to express? Um well, work-wise, I've just had some incredible opportunities come my way and oh, it's really, even, I just can't believe it some days. But um, <laughs> it's, I, I've been working with a startup and it's about to take off. And even like just this week, I've had these massive highs and then I had something quite dramatic happen this week that brought things down again. It was like, and I had to make this really important decision if I was going to continue and in the past, I would have, you know, been absolutely panicked and, and hysterical and taken days to deal with it. But I handled it differently. I just, I just shut everything out. I went very quiet and I got the answers that I needed and I confronted the situation with the people involved and we had a good result. So I couldn't have done that like even six months ago. Um, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And, and I don't know what the future holds and that's okay. And that's what I'm learning because I'm such a control freak. Like I have to know yeah. every single thing that was going on. And now it's like, let it go. That's word surrender. <laughs> it's just, mm -hmm. it's, it's a daily thing with me. Just let it go, Vera, you know, so, yeah. And, and like you say, as you surrender, don't get caught up into the how, the what, the trying to fix and control. Things yeah. find their magical resolution, don't they? They do. Yeah. And that's just and happened been like this. all sorts of sorry. No, I was just saying that's just been happening just all the time. Like if I just let it go and stuff happens. And what needs to drop away will drop away. And I'm learning to be okay with that as well. Whereas in the past I'd grieve and carry on and like, oh, you know, why is this happening to me again? And get into pity and crap like that so i'm certainly not to do that anymore <laughs> yeah so good yeah attracting so much yeah. magic and so what do people you were saying people in the street saying to you like what's going on with you what are they noticing oh they're just they're i'm just different. so light and um just the energy coming off me like they can just feel it and and i don't feel it all the time because it's just me but and there, but there are times when I do feel it and it's just, it's awesome. It's wonderful. Yeah. And even my children have commented on it too. You know, they said, mum, looking at you, you know, three years ago and looking at you now, you're just a completely different person. And it's, it's a great example for them as well, you know? So it's been great. Yeah. That's truly something when you own your children or grown up children yeah. in your case. Yeah. Um, you know, notice that because family, they see us a lot, right? So family are often... You know, we talk about in the beacons, the pearl makers, the ones we rub up against, <laughs> that, that let us yeah. get shiny through challenges. So for them yeah. to actually see that difference and to acknowledge that is huge. Yeah, love that. Mm. So good. So if you had some advice for someone here that was maybe you like a year ago or a year and a half ago, what would you say to them if they're like they're in that place, they're kind of in their comfort zone, <clears throat> their challenges are, their challenges that they're just that's just life you get tired you carry on you're busy you just do it suck it up um but there's a yearning perhaps in there there has to be a yearning doesn't there there has to be a yearning for something yeah. more what yeah would you say yeah that, that oh 
just have the courage to step out and do what you've been put on this earth to do and don't settle. If I can encourage you, just don't settle. Like I'm, I'm 61 and like, I have so much life ahead of me. I cannot wait. And I'm going to do everything that's on my list. I will, I will get it done. Whereas if I had stayed in complacency, I would have just yeah. shrunk into nothing. Like, yeah. whereas now I'm just opening myself up and I'm being who I I'm really am. Say, I'm going to get you to say all that again, Vera, because we've had a little bit of an issue with your connection. Oh, no. that, like, <laughs> oh, and I know you were going to say courage. So you would say, I know, that's just the thing with internet connections. Okay. Have the, say, have the courage. Have the courage. Have the courage to step out and and just do what you you really want to do. Don't settle. That's my biggest thing. Don't settle because there's just so much life out there. There's so much for you out there. And trust yourself and you will find people around you who will support you because at first you think, oh, no one's going to support me. I'm going to get judged. And I have found the complete opposite. I've had so much support from different people and in particular from the beacons like even the beacons um there are a bunch of women who are we're just so different and all different age groups and yet we are so connected it's just the most beautiful thing i've ever experienced it's just wonderful yeah oh. so don't settle yeah. you can do this <laughs> exactly and you can do this and instilling i think that faith and that's why i want to do this interview series more than anything is so that people can hear from a lot of different women like you say because you're also yeah. different in the beacons um that you that they have had the courage and taken the leap and trusted themselves and it works out that is the divine nature yeah. when we yeah, align to our source isn't it then and, source shows up for us and don't, only when we operate from the mind that we come into all these obstacles so we've trained ourselves to yeah. create an environment where things don't work out, where things are hard, where effort doesn't always equal reward and where lots of obstacles get in the way. And so mm -hmm. we don't believe that there's another way that we can live, which is all about fly when ease and grace. And we hear those things mm. and we go, that's not for me because that's not been my experience. And that's yeah. because yeah. Of mind. So yeah, just love as someone who says, like you say, very mind active. I'm very mind active. Most people are, and it's okay. The mind is useful, but there is another way to live when you become more aligned. Yeah. Say so what you're talking about: opportunities, more energy, connection. Yeah. Creating a bigger impact, less stress, all of that. Which, yeah, love it. I love what you're doing with the in, in the world. Do you want to share a little bit? Are you ready to share a little bit about? Are you allowed to share a bit about your business? No, no not, not yet. Not yet. Not until we're we're fully up and running. Yeah. But it's awesome. Global. It's very it's exciting. It's going to make a big impact. It's health orientated. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And Vera's at the front end of the organisational team and the connecting. <laughs> so exciting. We're all watching, cheering yeah. from the, the bleachers. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, my love. Thank you so much. <sighs> Oh, this has been really scary. You know how much I love public speaking. <laughs> I know. And it's also an edge that you want to do more of, isn't it? So this is perfect. I know. I know. I know. But anyway, I'll get better at it. <laughs> You're amazing at it. You're amazing mm. at it. Thank you for saying yes to this. I think, you know, Vera's message, Vera's involved with uh, um, another really fun thing that we're keeping a little under wraps for the beacons, which is super exciting. We're mm. going to let people know probably by the end of this year what's happening with the beacons on a very different out there front. And we've been sharing our stories in that way and playing and workshopping with it. And I think, yeah, one of your key messages that we can take away, everyone can take away is start saying yes to yourself because when you do, magic and miracles start happening. Yeah. Beautiful, and she's done it, and she's off. <laughs> Where is she there from? I mean, you just went black. <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, beautiful souls. I want to thank you, Vera, so much for coming on, even with our little tech challenges, which is just part of Facebook land. And um, I'm just going to stay on for a moment and pop a comment here in the chat just about if anyone that is um, listening to this, beautiful souls, is interested in the Bear Beacon program, 
and let me just get this right. Then we have obviously a little page on my website, texthompson.com, texthompson.com forward slash work with me. There's a little bit of information on there. This is something we really like to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with, with you know, our beacons. It's application process. This is a year mastery program that we have that Vera is involved in, and that's our beacon community. It's made up of women who have taking a year journey with me and usually longer because they're seeing such amazing results in every aspect of their life. Um, but we also have a three day deep dive in body foundations, sort of intro. If you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm up for the whole year, but I want to have a deep dive and see what this is all about. We have a three day, we have a year. So I've just popped the link here in the chat for anyone who wants to jump on. You can book a chat. There's a little bit of info there and you can book a chat with me and we'll get a really good feel for whether this is the right path for you because, you know, we do want to make sure it's the right path for any woman joining us. And we have an opportunity to join us early February. So if that's something that you would love to have as part of your future next year, but an amazing group of women and incredible practices and intensives to take you deep into aligning with your source self so you can show up in a greater way with more impact, more ease, and lots of magic like Vera was talking about, then uh, yeah, reach out and we'd love to have a chat with you. Thank you, Vera. Thank you, beautiful souls that joined us for the live, supporting us, Kerry and Natalie. And I think there's a couple of others that I missed jumping on there. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day, Vera. Love to you all. Bye.